I can't have any fight encounters. <laughs> that was a bit late, but whatever. I might have to reset already just for a retime or whatever. Damn it! That run was really good. I mean, <laughs> that's why I think, I think that, I think that two hour time is, it's the god run, I don't know. It's definitely doable, it's definitely beatable, but the RNG that's going to be required to beat it is uh, insane. I'm not going to say it's not possible, but it's just going to be really difficult to beat. Um, alright. That's a really good mo- uh, Harada. Okay. We again got lucky by no one attacking us. That's really what it's gonna come down to for Harada as well. Is that no one's gonna have to, like, attack you. We want to hope that he does that move. Please hit me. Please. Please. Okay, guess we're doing this one. Oh my god. Majima, ugh. Really? I didn't even think I would get bumped by you. <laughs> Somehow this run is already 11 seconds behind. I don't know how. No, I know how. It was a second tutorial fight. SMH. SMH. 
Oh, she's got that. You can still save some time. My fingers are very warm from this faucet, from the faucet earlier. I just literally ran hot water on it. Like, okay, we got this. We can do it. Hey, we got the run. That saves like half of a second, a quarter of a second. It doesn't save much. All right, two boy. Don't try to do that shit, Suboy. Don't, don't. Just don't. Stop. Relax. Calm. I pawned it off. I don't get how he pawned it off. He didn't run anywhere towards it. I really don't understand it. It's like, he's over here. If he wanted to pawn it off, he should have gone to the other way. Sign time! Sign time! <laughs> yeah! We're behind it. <laughs> Love you, Sinji. Okay. Go to the Kazuma family office. Get this motherfucker. Yes, I understand, phone. I keep getting, like, notifications for something. Hmm. Somehow saved three seconds from that. Alright, Nishiki. I need to stop him before he goes gamer mode!
All right, Harada. All right. Uh, I hope I get good RNG and like two of these guys move together. Nope. At least I didn't have to move that far from the last guy. We're definitely going to gold. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right, we got a gold. So <laughs> Information broker. Oh, <laughs> The so oh my god, stop! Oh my god! Oh my god, please. Uh oh. Sign it is! Or bike it is! Okay. Where'd the sign go? Oh, you bitch. Oh, it broke. Okay. Signs all the way over there. Nope. Relax. Okay. Okay. That was a really bad Majima, but I will stick with it.
Get the right close to the corner. She doesn't see you. Hmm. Okay. Alright, Abe. Mamaita. Also, that's one of the other instances of uh, starting the run in the direction that Kiryu is facing. Alright, so after this, I will head more towards the right. Uh, <laughs> I hope I am able to still avoid the cutscene. <laughs> Hug the corner? Alright, I will, I will. Okay, all right. All right, all right. Hmm. Thank you. That is great news. Ooh. Okay. I don't have to- Hey man, I didn't know how early it was. <laughs> eh, it's probably the same amount of time. Than my other, like, runs. I'll have to practice it some more. Straight from the informant, the flag on the corner should be a safe zone. Okay. Similar to how there's something like that for dodging F cup. Oh, okay. Alright, let's hope this fight goes well. <laughs> Alright, so take two. I'm gonna grab a different guy. Fuck you. And your knife. Clear in the room to let me grab this. Or the table. He hit me, that bitch. Yeah, we are bound to lose some time here. Of course, if you grab the knife guy, then you could clean with the knife. Huh. 
Yeah, I never really- I- I thought- I always thought that you didn't have enough damage to do the knife strats. I- I'm pretty sure grabbing that lamp is the fastest. If you're able to get as many people as possible with it, it's the fastest. Because of its wide area of effect. I'm really glad I have this practice save file. <laughs> that way I can practice that fight. Look at that fast turnaround. Let's go. Oh. Oh. I mean, hey, if if this run dies at the start of chapter four, like <laughs> the last one did, we could get a world record, though. We could get a world record in a category that I have ran once, and it is called the Piss Mountain Stone record. All you do is you get the Piss Mountain Stone locker key, then you open it, and that's when time ends. Records like 34 minutes. It's the dumbest category, and it's really just a more introductory category. But you don't want to have an introductory category to this game because of Majima. He's a very big deterrent. Also, what's your um, what's your opinion about the chapter one in this game compared to the chapter one in uh, Zero? Because for me, Zero's just... I'm not going to say that it drag. Actually, yeah, I'm going to say that it drags on a bit. Like, I'm pretty sure, for me, my first two runs that I did, I had like a 20-minute a chapter one for both of them. Or like a 1950-something. Maybe not 1950. It was around the 20 minute mark. Sorry, Shinji. Also, yeah, how have you been liking this game compared to Zero? Yeah, most people are on the 20 minute mark. Yeah! I've ran zero twice, and both runs had a lot of dropped frames issues because Comcast hates me when I stream on the weekends, so I haven't been able to stream on the weekends. That's why I'm streaming right now. Monday fucking afternoon. Imagine. Best time zone. Alright. Left couch gang. Don't fail me now. Left couch, no! Left couch, gang, you failed me! That'll be the end of chapter two on this is insane. Yeah! The chapter two is uh, really insane in my PB. It sucks that I lost frames, like, so I can't really see what I did. All I remember is, like, using the mic. In the Stardust fight. All right, asshole. You want to fucking come over here? Fuck you. Oh my fucking god.
Ugh. Especially now, after Chapter 8, you fly to the end. You like the pace of this one. Yeah, I, I could definitely agree with that. The pacing of this one, and, and hey, there's a lot of cutscenes that you can skip. You know what? That's one thing that I'll give it that <laughs> Y0 doesn't have. Yeah, the shotguns in the at the end of this game are fucking crazy. Oh my god. Yada yada. Well, we didn't. We haven't gotten hit yet. I'm I'm jinxing in myself, by the way. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! I'm sure you're out of tutorial chapters at the time that you finish chapter 7 here. Jesus Christ! Yeah, like what? That's chapter 4 when you finish the tutorial with Majima? Oh my god. This chapter is already really bad. Your chapter 4 is around the 112 mark? Fuck. What the fuck? Alright, we're equipping the dagger at Shimano. That was, that's, that's insane. That was insane. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a- that was a perfect chapter 3. That was actually a perfect chapter 3. Oh my god, that was a perfect chapter 3. We didn't get hit. At all. That- okay. Yeah, normally I heal during the Majima part because it makes the outside, um, a lot more riskier, but a lot more, uh, cleaner. Like, it's faster and riskier to heal before going outside. Or after Majima. Alright, time for the run to die. With a random encounter. Uh, I don't see anybody yet. I'm pogging right now. Claw grip? Okay. Look at how packed my inventory is. Jesus Christ. I probably shouldn't have bought so many uh safety items. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna wait to run here because there's like a Majima that usually likes to turn around right here. Thank god. <sighs> I press it down.
All right. There's a Majima that likes to be a Nakamichi. No? Okay. So far, we have have had zero Majima encounters. That is all subject to change, though. Hi, Bob. I need to scroll the notes. Do I? Do I? Oh, look, there's a Majima over there. Nice, nice. Let's wait. Let's wait it out. Okay. <laughs> he was, like, on my way. <laughs> Fucking Majima Goro, you asshole. Stop it. All right, uh, I don't, this part always confuses me. I'm gonna be honest, this part really just confuses me. Sometimes there's the motorcycle that I could pick up, sometimes there isn't. Oh my God, they're not <laughs> walking towards me. Ah, <laughs> that sucked. That fight sucked. <laughs> Nobody even, like, tried to get to me. That's unfortunate. Uh, at least we're at full health for the Hayashi fight. Hmm. Please don't walk in front of me, lady. All right, all right. Okay, so I found something interesting about this. Is that you just run up and grab them. Even if these guys back off, you should still be able to heat swing. I didn't know that. <laughs> I would normally uh, just grab the guy on the left and then heat swing. Reina, the girl. Go to Aries. Alright, Haruka. Let's go. I called you a bitch in my YouTube video. I apologize.
そういやさっき警官に呼び止められた時よくとっさにあんな嘘を思いついたな What? All right, Hayashi. I don't remember how to do this fight properly. So I'm just gonna do it this way, the way I remember. But yeah, I don't remember how to do that fight, like the fast rat that I found. Oh my fucking god. Okay. I'll take it. You want to end that fight in Beast because it makes... It, it takes a lot of the RNG out of this next fight. So this next fight is the sub story, and every time I've been in Brawler and switched to Beast, he has killed or he has hit me, and made me lose a lot of time. So I will take the one second time loss to stay in Beast, as opposed to you know switch back and forth. But I think we actually have a run right now. This is good news. Oi! Oi! Oh. oh. <laughs> Man, scaring the crap out of me. I don't know if I want to grab this key on this time coming into Purgatory. Hmm. I don't know. Because the first time you're in Purgatory, there are a few more people. I feel like that's like a big... Not a big issue, but it's definitely a thing. Does stomping these guys ever work? Like, is it faster to stomp them? Not Buster Holmes, but uh, the first two guys, Primic and 
the other guy. Because you have the Destroyer Secret Gorge buff. Or the full HP buff, so... Should. Not sure. Yeah. They are treated like bosses. If they are treated like bosses, probably cheap damage. Yeah. But... Are, would they? I think actually, yeah, that makes sense if they're treated like bosses because they're not called like Colosseum participant or Colosseum person. They actually have like names, so that means they probably have like actual like stats. That would make sense. It could be something that I test after this. So... I had this idea. Hear me out, hear me out. Oh, you bitch! Alright, so my idea is because there's a more dent. The guys at the front of that fight tend to clump around more. So if I grab and heat swing the guys in the back, I'll have a higher chance to get more combo hits or dual hits for that fight. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't say it. Damn it. Be. My only problem is the guy on the left, so you probably go for him next time. <laughs> Not gonna save any time because. Uh. Why aren't we gonna save any time? Because. The last fight? I guess. Because I got the thing? I don't know. We only lost four seconds. That was a really quick change of mod for for Slugger. Hmm. I mean, that's usually just how it is. At least for me. I don't know. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that uh, you're right. Actually, yeah. That that was kind of strange that he like appeared to me fast or came over to me faster. Hmm. That's. I mean, I don't think. Hit. Hang on. Because we take care of Majima eventually with a baseball bat. <laughs> At least I do. Um. 
The only reason I like using the baseball bats there is because... Maybe because of the knife, you tend to beast throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've i just knifed him all the time. I, 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 I bet that actually is it. That does sound like a plausible reason. Okay, so this fight fucking sucks because I don't know the timing for shotgun guys. And we have to go after the pistol guy because he's a closer distance. And closer distance means we could, uh... Sorry, fella. Damn it, you still can't... I keep trying to switch into Beast at the end of this, but you can't, and it sucks. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, like... Or a lot of little stuff in fights that is definitely going to help out, but with the RNG, it could seem like it's not faster. <laughs> Especially with that Stardust fight in the second, like I used the pole or the lamp and they all clumped together, so that's why I was able to get an insane time. I don't like doing brawler combos in that Majima fight because... <laughs> I could try knifing Shota. <gasps> Oshi! Joshi! Oshi! Thank you for the raid! Hello everybody. Welcome from Oshi's raid. We are on world record pace. Sub 2 pace. How are you? How was stream? How was day 50? Thank you so much for the raid. I cannot see chat anymore. Oh dear. <gasps> Eski! Insert raid call. I'm on move. <laughs> I can't even see oh, Oshi's name. I should be like, Eski! I would do a heart emoji if I wasn't in a run. <sighs> All right. So this is the Takashi fight. This fight's really easy. All you do is you mash right on the D-pad and you hold R1 and you stab. Yeah, you! Get out of here! That strat is a bit different than what other people do. I think other people throw, throw him and then do a heat move. All right. This fight could go very poorly. Because of these two! Ooh. Oh, I'm not at full heat! I wasn't at full heat. Shit. But yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. He should despawn. <laughs> he lost aggro. Okay. <sighs> that was so risky. Um, so currently we are on a very good pace. And if we get into any optional fight encounters, like that Majima right there, we lose the run and I have to reset. Atobe family members. Oh man. Alright, this fight's fine. No! No! Oh, fucking A. God damn it. Why did he hit me? 
That jerk. And we take a table and just table all of them. Ooh, pull, 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 pull. That was really bad. I need a heal. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, Oshi, how was stream? What'd you do on your day 50? <laughs> he and I, welcome back. You missed an Oshi raid. This might have to be like my new schedule. <laughs> oh wait, what the fuck? Why am I here? Hello? That was good. Started learning muscles. Ooh. Ooh. God. Sheep will flex. Sheep will flex. That's a go. Nice. Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad you're able to, like, you know. Practice different shits. Shits? Shiz. It's good to hear. Alright, we got the Goemon. This weapon is going to be what's going to carry us through the rest of the game. The only thing that I could really hope for this run is that we get a, a run as good to my PB. So what is the raid message now, Josh? Did, did he get... Like, okay, so didn't you have a simp message, a simp raid message before? I could have sworn you did. And then it, like, get, getting timed out or something, because simp. I'm pretty sure. No, that was just you? Oh, okay. I got baited. Oh, no. Bob, Bob, Bob. No chat thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Chat always knows what's best. Come on, you should know this. Meet Date's daughter. Alright. So what's going on in the story right now <laughs> is we just helped out a person with their uh, family problems. Now we have to help out a another friend. Uh, this, this is Date's daughter. Well, she kind of ran off. This is Saya's friend. We need to go help out Saya. <laughs> Band raid message. Aww. We need to go help her. Date's daughter has a simping problem. And as we all know with Twitch culture, simping is punishable by death. We need to go find out some more information about uh, <laughs> who she's simping for. <laughs> so we need to go talk to a friend of the... Recipient? Recipient. Yeah, I like that. Redacted sour, please. What do you mean? No, come on. That's redacted f Friday night. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Be careful. I don't get banned. Oh, no. I'm going to get banned. This is... If I say it's just a... A social commentary about uh, the problems with simping, it'll be fine. So this is the recipient's friend, and in order for us to gain his trust, we need to 
he's gonna ask us, what type of alcohol is the most expensive? So obviously you pick the one that has the biggest number. <laughs> so we found out some information that the simp and the recipient are uh, <laughs> at Stardust, which is a host club. You know, like that one anime, uh, Orion High School. That's an enemy fight. Um... Cutting it close. Cutting it close. Gotta cook dinner for now, so I'll be lurking. Thank you, man. Have fun with dinner. Enjoy. So we know where Stardust is. So we need to go tell the, uh... Big guy at Stardust that there's a simp problem. PJ, thank you for the follow! Hey, you, yo. There's a simp in your mints. Right there. We have to escort her out of here. And look at that. Look at these fine gentlemen. They're just helping her out and escape from the death. No. Okay. We're able to get that off. <laughs> Where is the sign? Sign? Why are you over here? That fight went pretty well, all things considered. All right, so the actual simp is in another building. Damn it. Bumping into her kind of sucks because she doesn't get to say her cute voice line. I am a simp for Saya's friend. I don't know her name, but her voice is cute. Alright, we need to go help out Date. This is Shota. He's the girl, he's the recipient. Who's actually been a, just an asshole. So we don't like assholes. You want to be at, in Beast at the end of that fight for this next thing coming up. Ooh, that's a 10 second gold right there. MP in Spanish. Alright, so we have a photo of... Plot-wise, we have a photo of a girl who is allegedly the owner of a club in, or not a club, a bar in the Millennium Tower. Who is allegedly dead. We're able to identify her based off of a tattoo. There is only one tattoo artist in Camarocha right here, and it is at the same place that we get our tattoo. We're gonna run there. I immediately claw a grip here because... Oh, okay. You can get a fight spawn in this little tunnel and there's nothing you could do about it besides talk to somebody. An interesting thing about this game is that if you talk to somebody, it can de-aggro and despawn enemies. So, that's always great. We, we are going to be using that for uh, this chapter. So, he wasn't able to give us that much information about uh, the girl. So, we're going to try to find Haruka instead. Haruka is the little girl that's been with us, who is the, uh, question mark, question mark, daughter of that, uh, girl in the photograph who we just asked about. Date is the best when it comes to finding Urda. <laughs> Date is always the best when it comes to, uh, people getting away. Yeah. 
What the fuck was that? I have never heard that sound effect before. What the shit? That sounded like a fucking dying frog. So, we're gonna talk to Aoki if he's seen a little girl. Uh, he says, I heard Club, I heard two girls in Club Sega talk about it, so we're gonna go ask them. Uh, they say that they remember seeing a drunk talk about it. So we are gonna go over to that drunk. With perfect movement, it is faster to run there, but it is also, I think, riskier because of enemies. When you run across town, you have a higher risk of getting more enemies aggroed on you. That is why I do not do it. And I mean, you could already get to this drunk man in one sprint cycle from the taxi. Uh, Worth it? No! No! Alright, he says, uh, I remember seeing a girl in one of the parks. Which one? One of them! Yes. I have to go to all three parks now. Oh, nobody's here. Let's go to the next park. Uh, another interesting thing about having a companion with you is that you cannot get into any uh, sub-stories as well. So you could, that means you could cut this corner quicker. Yeah! We don't have to deal with pocket circuit, which is amazing. Alright, Kuro, you've seen my new strat, right? You've seen the strat that I do. <laughs> It's riskier, but it's a lot faster, and I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so coming up is one of the most bullshit fights in this run. Uh, you're fighting a whole bunch of guys who have guns, and you have just your fists. So we are going to make this a level playing field. This is the secret organization fight. All these guys have silenced handguns, which you cannot pick up. Except for one of them. Oh man, no! Rip. We need to grab him. No, this sucks. Okay, uh, we could, we could save it. We could still save it. Okay. So what you're supposed to do there is you're supposed to grab the one gun guy that doesn't have a silenced pistol. You're supposed to heat swing him to take out two more adds, and then you're supposed to pick up his gun, shoot all the uh, squishies, then focus down the big boss with a heat throw and heat action. But as you saw, shit like that could happen. <laughs> I was still able to recover, so it's not the worst thing. Now we're gonna take our little girl, which we found, thankfully. Gambling! Father-daughter bonding. Uh, I think that's an enemy up there. I want to trigger him. Er, uh, uh, yeah. I want to trigger his aggro. Maybe more specific. An interesting thing about this game is that only one set of enemies can be aggroed at you at a time. So if you see any stragglers like that, or any ruffians as Cosmo put it, you want to tickle them ruffians. Meaning you just want to grab their aggro, so other enemies, preferably like Majima or any groups of three, can't do anything. <laughs> I 
Okay, camera. <laughs> All right. So this is the gambling hall uh, part. This part's dumb. It's two minutes of text smashing. Unskippable text smashing. So, in the PS4 version and the original, Haruka is supposed to guess every single correct, odd or even, uh, dice roll. I don't know how she does it. She's bet even twice. So far, she's she's gotten it. I think the best slash worst luck I've had is Haruka only got one correct. Doesn't mean anything, doesn't lose any time, but still funny. Okay. Yeah, in the PC version, it's kind of bugged to where uh, it's 50-50. Oh, it's odd. So, since we lost, this next cutscene doesn't make any sense. Not canon. Ugh. SMH Haruka, you went three and two. Oh my goodness. Can't even win the 50-50? Pog weird, dude. Weird champion. And she always gets this one wrong. It's, she bets odds and it's 2-6 even. Don't know why, but... <laughs> don't know why this one's correct. It's funny. Now we have the gambling hall fight. We have to... Yeah, Haruka calls these guys out and they get upset. Um, so we have to fight them. This part is really difficult for me. All you do is hold R1 and- No! <gasps> no! No! Rip run! Rip run! Rip! Ah! Damn. That sucks. Yep, we are no longer on PB pace. The fuck? Oh my god. That still didn't even kill him. <sighs> fuck. <sighs> ah, unfortunate. That normally doesn't happen. Damn. Who would have thought my chapter 7 would kill me? We can at least get a pretty good time though. Alright, so we picked up some two things from um, the coin locker that we are going to sell for the next chapter. There is another instance of Haruka despawning enemies. Game really just wanted to say fuck you. Also, by the way, this game is technically a Christmas game. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> God, those fucking new Twitch emotes. Eski, when's the new Christmas set of emotes? Are we going to have themed emotes? These are important questions, Eski. Never. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright, we have like eight cutscenes to skip right now.
basically, our brother, uh, went over to try and settle a deal with us. And, uh, we don't like his deal, so we punched him. And then he has his whole entire family come after us. This fight's really fucking cool. Never mind. And now we have the f captain of the Nishikiyama family, Shindo. Shindo likes to be a jerk and to not take his death. What a jerk. I mean, that was a pretty good Shindo fight. Alright, so I do a new thing of upgrades right here. This is currently a new strat right here, right before your very eyes. Oh, I forgot about this one. New strats, right before your very eyes. First time ever performed live in a run. So right now, we have the whole Nishikiyama family after us, so we need to, um, basically hide for a bit. Every time Kiryu has to hide, something goes horribly wrong. This time Purgatory is on fire, which is where we've uh, been and had Arika stay at. So that means Haruko's been kidnapped by the three local gangs at Camberocho. Uh, Blue Z, Bloody Eye, and White Edge. Great names, by the way. So you also need to be careful because this is where Pocket Circuit comes back into play. This is the chapter where we could save 30 seconds, so that's why I'm not resetting. We could still save 30 seconds here. And even if not here, we could still save it in chapter 9 and 10. So, Blue Z doesn't give us really any good information. They say that uh, White Edge told them to do it, so they went and did it. Do we need to go find White Edge? Nice, didn't mess up taxis. Let's go! So something interesting I'm going to do is there's a guy on the right right here. He is technically part of a sub story, but getting caught by his trigger only loses like a second. So I'm going to save it for... It's also able to like despawn enemies. So I'm going to save it 
for later. Just in case I need it. So we found the white edge, fellas. Now we need to go take care of him. Something new I'm gonna try out is... Wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, rip. I think I might have to reset now. Yep. Fucking god. Eh. That sucked. No, please. Alright, we're going the other way. We're going the other way. Hey look, there's Majima. My Majima senses were right! <laughs> My Majima senses were tingling. That's why I didn't want to go that way to begin with. Alright, so we're gonna go into this adult uh, store and buy uh, adult items. Six shotguns to be exact. Very adult material. Man, that sucks though. Ugh. Uh, alright. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna PB, so. I have the bloody eye. Uh. I like that. All right, thank you, Kuro. <laughs> we can still save some time. We can still save some time. All right, we stab one of them. And we run backwards away from everybody else. Equip our gun. This guy likes to get up, right? Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. I have to skip some cutscenes. Uh, the bloody eye tells us that this guy Lao Kao Long uh, told them to do it. So we believe him. Because we don't like Lao Kao Long. So before we save any time, we're doing this. We are getting the last amount of upgrades in the run.
So it is completely fine that we lose time, since we're moving our upgrades up. Okay. Should still be fine. Yeah. Alright. I should have equipped the shotgun. Whoops. Actually, if I do this... We're fine. Should have taken care of him. Nice. Oh, okay. That was a really good chapter 9. Ah, alright. I'll take it. That was pretty good. And this is Lao Kao Long. We're gonna pick him up. We're gonna throw him. He then equipped Dagger again. And we stab. Now he actually has a mid-fight cutscene that we can't skip. The only way... The only thing for us to do is to... Punch him out of it. You want to be in Brawler by the end of this fight. Alright. That's fine. Now we have the fun part. <laughs> we have the Unreal's shooter segment of this game. Because we got Haruka back. Now we need to take her back to town. They just, they actually just clipped into the wall. All right, Van Fellow. Clean, all right.
So you only need to shoot on the guys on the truck for this last bit. It is just pretty difficult to line up shots on them. And now we actually have the truck driver himself. Okay. Yeah, that shooting was fine. Wasn't the best I've done it. Yeah, we saved some time. Yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be the chapter that we like save the most amount of time because normally we have to do menuing for a good bit. But all we need to do now is just equip a gun. So that's definitely going to save some time. So Shinji and Reina, two of our friends, have kind of gone against the Nishikiyama family. And they are currently hiding out in a place that Shinji doesn't even know about, even though we took him there. Um, yeah, so we need to go follow the blood trail. The way this area works is that there's certain invisible triggers that you need to pass over. And if you don't, then the last area doesn't load. So you can't even go in, even if you already know where you're supposed to be going. If you walk on the blood trails, you have a high chance to get into a sort of dialogue box, which loses some time. You are also able to find enemies here, which can be very annoying. That was close. Okay. Then we get a phone call right here saying that, Hey, I'm next to the abandoned building next to the batting cages. Or I'm in the abandoned building next to the batting cages. There's also a certain path we need to follow there. That way we're able to avoid a... Substory. That lets us lose the run. If we get hit by that substory, we actually just lose the run because we don't have enough money for chapter 11. So they've tracked down where Shinji and Reina are. Now we need to take care of them. And the way we take care of them was with gun. Uh oh, that didn't work out. I guess that was a lot easier to do in practice. Really? I'm using too many shots. You don't shoot this guy because it's only one and the drops already a handgun. But this fella, you do shoot because he's already like aiming his gun down sight on you. That sucks.
Nope. We pick up the gun on the ground. Then we shoot these fellas. I don't even know if I like shooting them. <laughs> this part is always so cool. Uh, Friday night in chat, please. Spam the Friday night emote. This song is a slapper. Oh, wait, we're at full- Oh, uh, no, I better not. Oh my fucking god, menu. All right. I think if I the full HP, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, so Kuro, it is faster to do this. To do all the menuing in chapter six. I guess it's faster. Thank God. Look at that gold. I need to change my history on live split. Yeah, I need to change my history. <laughs> or at least reset it. Because that sum of best should not be that low. So in Shinji's last dying breath. Wait, Shinji does die. In Shinji's last breath in that cutscene, he tells us about a girl that he's been simping for. There's a lot of simping from people in this game. Alright. So there's a cutscene again to the right, which we want to avoid. We want to save it in case there's something else we, you know, if we, if we need to draw the aggro. Uh-oh. Run a long way around now. Oh, wait. That was kind of awkward RNG. Alright, I saw those guys in Pink Avenue, or Sinro? Whatever. Fuck! It's the next one you have to skip. Alright. We had to go ask around for a specific forager. Because that's how we're going to get into Shangri La, which is where uh, the girl Nishiki is fallen for. Is I don't think they're. They never said that they're like official. <sighs> so. I don't know. This run definitely has potential. We could save 20 seconds in the last split. If everything goes well, we could definitely save 20 seconds. Because of a mistake that I did.
So those bald-headed freaks scared off the uh, owner and a, another employee. Uh, that's a set of enemies right there. Okay. <laughs> so they're right here. <laughs> this fight, I like to switch to Brawler after heat swinging him, then grabbing one of the swords. Yeah. Since we don't get the other uh, heat damage upgrade, that's completely fine for us to do. Wakata wa. So now we have to run back to the second club. No pocket circuit cutscene. We could actually use that pocket circuit cutscene to despawn enemies. Which is, I guess, an unintended use that I should utilize more often. So the forager gave us our item that we needed, which was a passport, which we're going to need to get into Shangri-La. Or a fake passport, sorry. Kira is going to finally decide to move, and then we do a certain route. This is also the last time we're going to be going down pink. I'll take that, actually. Lil Bridie! Welcome back. How are you? Thanks for the five biddies. The bitterinos. Oh, uh, yeah, we're kind of on world record pace. Again. I'm glad people are able to watch me actually I do a good run this time. So Shin Mei tells us that she sold the Shangri-La pass to the guy at the MEB, which is the men's entertainment booth. We need to go there and buy it from him. That's what we need 300,000 for. Should you be your surprise? Not really. Not really. Uh, we kind of just moved some of the upgrades to Chapter 8, so that's, that's like a very inflated gold. But putting all of our upgrades in at, cha or at the uh, beginning and end of Chapter 8 seems to be faster. No, please. MEB! Um, rip run? Question mark? I don't know if those guys are still aggro or not. You're like the- Hey, thanks man. Uh, me and my- me and Cosmo worked really hard on it. I'm glad you liked it. It was a really fun passion project. Yeah, he, he's so fucking good at editing. I, I love him to death. Also, exclamation mark, a new video. <laughs> I'm, it's it's the one YouTube video I'm like actually really proud of. 
Uh, even though it's technically outdated, <laughs> I'm still really proud of it. Uh. Former Dojima family members. We still have gun out. We don't have gun out. Oh. Uh, no. No, you don't. Okay. We ended up using one more shot than I'm than I like using. I don't know. We kind of lost like a second or two. We kind of lost like five seconds during that fight. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> we could still save. We could save about. No, we, we could save. Yeah, we could still save about 20 seconds. The Dojima boss guy, when you first fought him, he doesn't know. Ah, yeah, his attack is fucking bullshit. He's, I think, one of the only enemies that shoots his gun. Uh, while he gets up. Actually, I think we could save some more time in the finale. Because of something Kuro discovered. So, this could be good. What am I doing? Harka, Harka, Harka. Shangri-La, Shangri-La. Ooh, I think I want to trigger that drunk. You gotta, you gotta tickle your ruffians. I didn't want to risk it. Shangri-La time. Find Akimi. What? We still have our shotgun equipped. Oh, no, Kaz, what do you mean? I'll explain when we get later. I'll explain when you get older. Okay, so new strat here. What am I doing? We need to make sure we have enough heat for these next guys. Okay. <laughs> I, it might just be better to use a Tarner there. I mean, that's what I bought the Tarners for, so might just be better. The only reason I had to use more uh, attacks there is because I, I don't think it's faster to use a Tarner. Because I didn't get as many uh, heat upgrades. Alright. No, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this strat. Okay. Imagine being a Sova and the man just crumpled you with a one shot. No thanks. I don't want to imagine that. That sounds painful. Ah, <gasps> we don't have enough.
Could just do a four piece combo. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Ah! I didn't realize. I didn't realize. You out damage his heal? Okay. Rip all of our time save. Rip. Yeah. I think it might be better just to shotgun at the end there. Damn. Okay. We could potentially PB. Yeah, we could potentially PB. Yeah. This is the chapter that my adrenaline just starts pumping. I think I think I do stab Shimano first. Because that way I don't need to go into the menu and equip my shotgun. Is this possible to beat in 10 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. 10 minutes? Possibly. 9 minutes, 45 seconds? Not looking likely. Yeah, I tend to go trigger happy there too. But these parts you need to like do that. Oh no. You need to do these parts very deliberately. He didn't die! I really want to task this game, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Tasking the game might be fun.
As long as we don't get a dumb fight spawn, we're fine. Oh no. I have to go the longer way. Oh no, I want Brawler. Alright, I'm gonna try going this way. Because the last time I did this, um, the other guys on the other side didn't, like, run towards me. Uh-oh. 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 Still fine. Not fine anymore. I don't know. This is going to be really close. This is going to be really close. First time I've seen that. Yep, that's the first time I've seen that happen. I only have one shot left. That's pretty bad. Hello? Hello? That was the wrong one. Oh, that doesn't even get me there. That doesn't even get me there anyway. Okay. So I would need like a Tarn or Plus or whatever.
I like to stab him because that way it disables their QTE. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh my fucking god. My heart is racing now. All right. Um This is sub 2. I did it, okay. No! No! Oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> okay! Alright! I don't know if we have it! Oh my god. That's that's the first ever sub 2. That that's it. That's it. <laughs> I you I hate my legs are I あなたのこと Let's fucking go. Let's. That's the first time this game has been beaten in under two hours.